Welcome to another video. I have a calculus one problem here. It has to do with differentiation of a composition of functions which requires the chain rule. And I know this is not my typical video any longer because I have somehow moved away from calculus, which used to be the mainstay of this channel to doing all kinds of weird problems, but I still have those people who started with me and they need help with this. So I'm just gonna solve this in this video. Let's get into the video. If you've been long enough on this channel, I always tell you about taking the derivative of a natural log function, it is easy. Whenever you differentiate a natural log function, all you're doing is you're looking at the argument and you're differentiating the argument and placing it on top of the argument. Okay, and this is what I mean. The natural log of a function, let's call it g of x. If you take the derivative of it, the derivative of the natural log of a function is basically the derivative of that function divided by the function. That's all. So that's what we're going to do here. If we try to differentiate this, it's basically going to be the derivative of secant to the fifth of x to the fourth minus one divided by secant to the fifth of x to the fourth minus one. There's nothing else. So let's write it. f prime of x will be equal to the derivative of this, which is going to be, I'm gonna write it as a prime, it's going to be secant to the fifth of x to the fourth minus one. Now, we take the derivative of this. I put the prime over secant to the fifth, x to the fourth minus one. This is the derivative of this function. Okay, this is a little bit slanty. I don't like that. The only thing you need to ask yourself is, what is the derivative of this function? You see, it is now simpler because your focus now is how to differentiate this. So to make life easy, so you know what to do when you're differentiating you want to rewrite this so that it is secant of x to the fourth minus one, everything raised to the fifth, then you take the derivative. Let me rewrite it so you see what I mean. So this is gonna be equal to um, secant of x to the fourth minus one. You see that? Everything raised to the fifth power now you take the derivative of this. So this makes a lot more sense because now we can take the derivative with more calculation. Secant to the fifth of x to the fourth minus one. Okay, so with this better presentation, I know that when I'm applying the chain rule, what I do here is I, I do the, the, the usual differentiation. I move this five down five times this, and then I subtract one from the power. Okay, so we're still gonna go on and say that f prime of x is equal to, I'm gonna move this down, okay? So it's gonna be five times secant of x to the fourth minus one it will now be raised to power four instead of five. So what I have here is gonna be raised to power four. Nice, okay. But what I've just done is I have only differentiated the outside, the outermost parenthesis, but I need to differentiate this guy on the inside. So I will multiply this, applying the chain rule, by the derivative of secant x to the fourth minus one. All of this divided by what I have here, 
secant to the fifth x to the fourth minus one. So no more differentiation needs to be done here or here. The only part, and actually this four, I can move it to sit here. Okay, so it looks like this one because we're done differentiating, but let's just leave it. But this is the only part that I need to differentiate. Now, when you're differentiating this now, we do the same thing you differentiate the outside first. The outside of this function is the secant. What is the derivative of secant? It's secant tangent. So, but you have to retain this argument. So this is what it's going to look like. This is going to be equal to, I'm going to write this neatly. I know I can cancel this out, but I want to leave the whole thing till we get to the end. So you're going to have 5 secant to the fourth. This 4 is coming here now. Okay, I have x to the fourth minus 1. The derivative of this is going to be, the derivative of secant x is secant x tan x. So the derivative of secant x to the fourth minus 1 is secant x to the fourth minus 1 tan x to the fourth minus 1. Okay, so it's going to be secant uh, x to the fourth minus 1 tan x to the fourth minus 1. Okay? Whew. But we're not done because we're applying the chain rule to this. We now still have to multiply by the derivative of the innermost argument, which is x to the fourth minus 1. So times the derivative of x to the fourth minus 1. Cha! All divided by the denominator, secant to the fifth times x to the fourth minus 1. So there is one more differentiation to do, and we'll do some cleanup here. It doesn't look like there's a lot to clean up. Oh, we can actually multiply this secant by this secant because they have the same argument. And then we can, this time, differentiate this. What's the derivative of this? It's going to be 4x cubed, and that's it. Okay, so what we have is going to be 5. These two multiply together to give you secant to the fifth, x to the fourth minus 1. We have this. We have tan x to the fourth minus 1. And then the derivative of this is going to be times, let's write it as 4x cubed. And everything divided by secant to the fifth, x to the fourth minus 1. So clearly, this will take this out. Cha -da -da. Tap. Tap. And see what is left? I have 5 left here. I have 4x cubed here. So that gives me 20x cubed. I have this left. Tan x to the 4th minus 1. That's f prime of x. There is no other differentiation to be done. And this is the derivative of this function. Never stop learning. Pills to stop learning. Stop living. Bye-bye.